Welcome to Zen Master Wisdom. Today, we will share about the Bamboo Grove's Whisper. Let's start. In a tranquil corner of the ancient bamboo forest, nestled beneath a canopy of emerald leaves, there lived a wise and revered Zen master named Shu Zen. His bamboo grove was renowned throughout the land for its profound serenity and the extraordinary wisdom that seemed to resonate within its very stalks. One cool, misty morning, a young monk named Kaido arrived at the grove seeking guidance from the renowned master. He had heard tales of Shuzen's wisdom and longed to find answers to the questions that had been troubling his restless mind. As Kaito entered the grove, he was immediately struck by the stillness that enveloped him. The bamboo stood tall and graceful, their slender stems swaying gently in the breeze. The air was filled with the soothing rustle of leaves, and a sense of peace settled over Kaito's troubled heart. Shu Zen, an old man with eyes that sparkled with ancient wisdom, welcomed Kaito with a warm smile. Welcome, young one, he said in a voice like a gentle breeze. What brings you to my bamboo grove? Kaito bowed respectfully and replied, Master, I am plagued by doubt and confusion. I seek the wisdom that is said to reside within these sacred woods. Shu Zen nodded knowingly and gestured for Kaito to sit beside him on a mossy rock. They sat in silence for a while, listening to the whispers of the bamboo leaves. Then, Shu Zen spoke, Do you hear the whispers of the bamboo, young one? Kaito strained his ears, but all he could hear were the rustling leaves. He shook his head in frustration. Patience, Shu Zen counseled. Listen not with your ears alone but with your heart. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Kaito followed the master's advice, taking in slow, deep breaths. Gradually, he began to feel a subtle vibration in the air, as if the bamboo itself was communicating with him. The sounds of the leaves and stems seemed to merge into a harmonious symphony. Yes, Shu Zen whispered, that is the bamboo grove's whisper. It speaks not in words, but in the language of the heart. It carries the wisdom of the ages, and all who listen with an open heart may hear its message. Kaito listened intently, allowing the whisper to envelop him. Images and sensations flowed through his mind like a gentle stream. He saw the perseverance of the bamboo, bending and swaying but never breaking in the face of adversity. He felt the interconnectedness of all living beings, like the intertwined roots of the bamboo grove. And he sensed the impermanence of life, as the leaves fell gracefully to the forest floor, returning to the earth from which they had sprung. Tears welled up in Kaido's eyes as he realized the profound wisdom of the bamboo grove's whisper. It was a wisdom that transcended words and concepts, a wisdom that spoke to the depths of his soul. Shu Zen smiled, his eyes crinkling with warmth. You have heard the whisper, young one. It is a wisdom that cannot be taught but must be experienced. It is the wisdom of the present moment, the wisdom of being in harmony with the natural flow of life. Kaido bowed deeply to the master. Thank you, Master Shu Zen. I now understand that the answers I seek are not to be found in books or lectures but in the stillness of my own heart. Shu Zen nodded in agreement. Remember, young one, the bamboo grove's whisper is always here, within you and around you. It is the eternal song of existence, and it will guide you on your journey. Over the years, Kaido continued to visit the bamboo grove, deepening his understanding of the whisper. He became a wise and respected monk, sharing the teachings of the grove with others who sought enlightenment. And in the quietude of the bamboo grove, the timeless wisdom of the whisper continued to resonate, 
a reminder that the answers to life's deepest questions can be found in the stillness of the heart. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like, share and subscribe.